team, we've got a core cool stretch and roll today. So make sure you've got your, your mat out and that you've done the emerald warm up. We're going to start on our back on the mat today. So let's pop down. Sitting up, or actually sitting up. We'll start sitting up. Legs out in front. Big breath in, nice tall spine. Hands on thighs, and as we exhale, we're going to roll the back, curl the back, and we're going to roll down vertebrae by vertebrae. So we want that middle of the back coming down first, nice and slow. Roll it down, and stretch the arms up above. Big breath in. Circle the arms, hands on thighs, rolling up now. Curl up, hands overhead, stretch. Arms out to the side, rotate the spine, exhale on as we, as we reach that backwards point. Breathe in and exhale back the other way. Coming back to centre now, stretch up nice and tall, wiggle those shoulders, get those hands as tall as you can. On the exhale, we stretch forward, touching the toes if you can. Couple of nice deep breaths here. Hands on ankles and then we're just rolling that body out. Let the hands slide. Sitting up nice and tall. Hands on thigh. Roll the back. And we're lowering it down. Vertebrae, vertebrae, vertebrae. Nice and easy. Keep that chin tucked in. Rolling down last. Rolling out the spine. Hands up above the head. Stretch out. All right, I'm going to bend the legs up, hands circle down around to the side. I've got a block in my mat. Oh, I'll just fix that. Oh, I'm just totally misplaced. Okay, back flat, feet up, like we're about to do a sit up. And we're going to rock the hips forward, nice flat back. We're just going to bring those legs up into tabletop and we're just going to do a nice little hold here before we start for the day. So if you need to roll those hips back, get the back flat, adjust, hold those feet in tabletop, push down on the ground, activate the abs. Shins should be parallel with the floor, knee and hip should be stacked, nice vertical line, big breath in and out. Lower those back down one by one. All right, we're going to go again in a second. Take a nice deep breath in. Round that, those hips up. Get that back nice and flat. Engage those abs. Bring the legs up one by one. Tabletop legs and hold. Just holding here. Three. Two. And one, lowering the legs back down, stretching out above the head, legs out, arms up, stretch it out, breathing in and out. Circle the arms back around, hands on ground, bend those knees up, feet nice and flat. We're going to um, push your hips up into glute bridge. Pushing up and squeezing the glutes there. We don't want to hyperextend, but we want a nice line through the body here. We want to be up on those shoulder blades. Squeeze the glutes. We're just holding here for a sec. A little bit longer. Three, two, and one. Popping that. Those hips back down, hands behind the head, and we're just gently crunching up. Nice and slow. Remember when we're doing these crunches, we are just pulling those shoulder blades up off the mat. We're not trying to get our head forward. We're not trying to roll up. We're just lifting those shoulder blades up off the ground. We should feel it down in the abs here, working really hard. Lift the shoulder blades up. Support the head and neck, the neck's not doing the work, the abs are doing the work. Three, two, and one. Lower it down. Hands beside your hips, pushing down 
on the floor, push those hips back up, squeeze the glutes, we're going to hold. And we're just holding here, we're just really activating the glutes and we're squeezing.
three, two, one. Pop those hips down. Stretching out. Big stretch out. Arm stretch up. Feel that stretch through the abs. Big breath in. And out. Circle those hands around. We're going to pop them just under the bum. We want a nice flat back. And if you can, we're going to hover those legs just off the ground. Nice hover. We're going to lift the right leg. And down. Don't brush it. And we're going to lift the left leg. And down. If you're feeling you need a bit more lower back support, just pop those hands up a little bit higher under the top of the glutes. Hover the legs. Let's lift up. And down. Good. Hold those abs nice and tight. Pull them down into your mat. Alternating legs. Nice and slow. Time under tension. The slower we go, the more we activate that core muscle. The faster we go, the more we use momentum to just swing it up there. We don't want to swing it up. Pull those abs in nice and tight. We've just got three double legs. Three. Lower down slow. Two. Lower down slow. Last one. One. Lower down slow. Put those feet on the ground. Hands up above the head. Big breath in. Circle the arms around. Hands on the thighs. Rolling up slow. Stretch up above the head. Big breath in. Hands down. Out into T. Stretch around to the front. Exhale. Back to centre. Hands out in T. Stretch around to the other side. And exhale. Back to centre. Arms up nice and tall. Palms Facing your head, stretch up, big breath in and out, stretch down to toes. Nice deep breathing here guys. Pull those toes into your body. Let the hands slide back and we're going to round the back up and straight up into a nice tall seated position. Wiggle the hips. Hands on the thighs. Roll the back. Nice curve in the back. We're rolling down. Nice and slow. Hands up above the head. Circle those hands around. Hands on the bum again. Right that top of the bum if you need that extra support. Hover the legs. We've got some single leg lifts. Up and down, other side, up and down, point the toes, lift up and down and up and down. We're going to bend those knees in, we're going to take the hands out from the bar but we're going to keep them nice and close just in case we need some support. Another way you can do it actually Let's go out to the side. I think it's better support. We're going to push down on the ground. And what we're going to do from this bent knee position is we're going to roll out to the side. Just lower slowly. Tap that right knee on the ground. Other hand stays stretched out, but it's coming up off the ground. Push with the right hand up off the ground, helping to use those abs to bring that around. And then we go the other way. Tap that knee on the ground and bring it back up. Using that core but pushing down on the hand for stability. Big breath in and out. Come on, lower down. Good, and back up. And down the other side. Lower it down as slow as you can. Pull it up. Nice. You'll be feeling a nice rotation through the spine. We've got one more each side. 
lower down. Push with the hand, use the core, bring it back up. One more side, other side, lower down. And pulling up. Stretch both legs out in front, stretch up. Big breath in and out. We've got more single lifts. Hands under the bum, hover the legs. Let's go right leg. Pull those abs into the mat, guys. Left leg. Right again. And left. Let's go double. Pop it at the top and lower down nice and slow. Pop it at the top, get that back flat, lower down nice and slow. Pop it at the top and lower. Hold the core in nice and tight. We've got one more. And down. Bend those knees up. Hands out to the side. Rolling. Touch the side. If you can. If you can't get all the way down, that's all right. Nice stretch through the lumbar spine. Push against the floor, use those abs to pull it up. One more. And stretching out in front. Stretching up nice and tall, big breath in. And out. Circle those hands around, palms on thighs, rolling up. Stretch up nice and tall. Arms out to T, stretch around to the front, exhale. Bring him back to center and around to the other side. Coming back to center, hands up tall, stretching them right up. Big breath in and exhale. Stretch down to toes, big breath in and out. On the exhale, see if you can stretch a little bit more. And let the body roll back up into a nice tall position. We're going to tuck the right leg in front and we're going to let the left leg come behind. Hands on front knee. Chest down as low as you can go, walking those hands out in front of the right knee. Big breath in and out. So feel a nice stretch through the hip and the lower back. Walk those hands back up. And we're just going to change positions. Left leg in. Right leg behind. I'm going to flick all the way around. You can stay in the same position. Hands on left leg. Walking hands out. Big breath in. And out. And in. And out. Walking those hands back up. We're going to come up onto all fours now. And we're going to do some donkey kicks. When we do our donkey kicks, it's working the glute. What we want is we want to keep this angle in the leg like at that 90 degrees. But we're going to flex our toe and we're going to push up heel to ceiling. See how that angle stays the same through the leg? That's what we want. We're going to go nice and slow. We're going to kick up. Try and keep those hips as still as possible. Try and keep nice, even weight through the hands. Really push up. Heel to ceiling. We've got one more. We change 
sides. Flex those toes, push that heel up. Stretch up into cat. Arch those shoulders, pull the hip in, squeeze the glute, and back into cow. Stretch it up. Other way. Roll those hips in. Stretch. One more into cow. neutral position now. I'm going to do our cat cow. We're going to crunch in right arm, right arm, left leg. We crunch in the middle and then we're stretching out and hold. Bring it back in for a crunch, same side. Just working that right arm, left leg. With the toes, stretch it straight up. Crunch it in nice and slow. Stretch out. Crunch it in. One more. Stretch. Back on all fours. We're going to work the other side now. Crunch it in. Left hand, right leg. Stretch it out. Really control that body so we're not all shaky. Stretch it out. Really hold that position once we stretch out. Just working nice and slowly. We've got two more here, team. Crunch in. Stretch out. One more. Crunch in, stretch out, and back onto all fours. Back into cat, stretch up that lower back, tuck the hips in, squeeze the glutes around the shoulders, and stretch out the opposite way. Push the hips back, bring the head up, back to neutral. All right, we're going to do some knee to chins now. So we're going to come up into push up position and we're going to crunch our knee into our chin. So right knee crunches in and then we come back to back flat. Shoulders are over wrists. Crunch left knee in, we round the back. Then we come back to back flat, head comes out. Crunch in, stretch out. Crunch in, stretch out, crunch in, stretch out, keep it going. We want to be going nice and slowly, nice and even. We're not rushing it. We really want to feel that body under tension. Four, three, Two, last one, one, stretch out, back onto all fours, coming down into child's pose, nice big breath in, and out, walking those hands over to the right, back to centre. Stretch it down. Walking those hands to the left. Back to center. Hands beside the knees. Make yourself in a little ball. Push the ground away. And coming up. We're going to come. 
come up into push up position again. Push up position. We're going to kick the right leg up and bring it out to the side. As far out to the side as you can, a little bit wider than your hand. And we're going to bring your right hand up. Stretch up, look to the ceiling. Nice deep breath in. And out. And in. And out. Hand down, right hand down, we're going to take the left hand up now, stretch it up, open up the chest, look up to the ceiling, look up past your hand, big breath in, and out, and in, and out, bring that left hand down, back down again, we're going to put our left knee down, we're going to come up into a kneeling position, Right leg is still forward. We're going to rock our body forward. We're going to stretch out the hip flexor. Pull the hands up. Arch up. And we can bend to the right. We really want to feel it stretching down through the hip. Hip to the front of the leg. Feel that stretch out. And bring it back up together. Stretch out the right leg in front. Whoops. I lost my balance. Right leg in front, pull the toes up. You feel that stretch through the calf. Body should be upright. Pull the toes right up, feel it in the calf muscle. And then we're going to let that stretch out and stretch down, stretch out the hamstring. Big breath in and out. And coming back up. On both knees. On all fours. Push up onto the feet. Into A frame position. Push back. We're going to walk our legs back. As far as we can. We're just stretching out that hamstring. If you can't get all the way back, that's all right. And walk the hands forward, back into that nice and prone position. We're going to bend the knees in. And back out. Walk the feet into the middle, knees bent. We're going to bend one leg up and we're going to stretch it up to the ceiling as high as you can. And then bring it back in. We're going to stretch the other one up now. Stretch it up as high as you can. And bring it back in. Back onto all fours. In push-up position. We're going to take the left leg up. Pull the left leg up. Bring it out to the side. Left hand comes up. Stretch and open up the chest. Looking up to the ceiling. The left hand down, right hand comes up, opening everything up. Open the chest up, looking up to the ceiling, nice deep breathing. Pop that right hand down, right knee comes down, up into a kneeling position. We're going to stretch out the hip flexor, lean in forward. Stretch up nice and tall. Feel it really stretch out. We're going to lean to the left. Just find that nice spot where you get that good stretch. And bring it back in. Left leg stretches out. And we pull the toes up to feel that calf muscle stretch out. Body's up nice and tall. Stretch that calf out. Point the toe down now. We're going to come down and stretch up the hamstring. Nice deep breathing. And coming back up. Back around into kneeling position. On all fours. We're going to come up into A frame. Up onto the toes. Feet wide. Stretch the hips back. 
push back so you can really feel that stretch through the hamstring and if you can, if you're already stretched out to the max, just stay in that position, but if you can, walk these arms back and let that hamstring stretch out and then walk the hands back forward. Into A frame, tuck the head in, tuck the shoulders in. Bend the knees, step the feet into the middle. We're going to bend down. That's right. Right leg stretch up as high as you can. And down, bend that knee down. Both knees are bent and the other leg stretching up. And back down. Back onto all fours. Curl that back up into cat. Stretch. Back into cow. And back into child's pose. Stretching out in front. Big breath in. And out. And in. And out. Bring those hands next to the knees. Push down on the ground, let that lower back really stretch out. Make yourself into a really tiny ball. And sitting up. How are we feeling, guys? Grab a quick drink and then we're going to get up and roll around. We're going to roll out our hip flexors today. We're going to use a ball. So we want to foam roller and a ball. We can use a couple of different sizes. It doesn't really matter. And get right into the hip flexor today. And then we're going to do some more ball work around the scapula. And just a little bit of general rolling through the lumbar spine. I'm going to give that one a go today. You can very well use that one. What we're going to do is we're going to get into the hip flexor. So we're going to get into this spot here. So when we stretch up with one leg forward, we really feel a stretch through here. So we're going to get in there today. So we're going to put our ball there. We're going to lie on it. That one works just as good. I might even change to that one. We're going to come down. Put that under the hip. Doing my left one first. You can do whichever one you like. And we just put some pressure through there. So obviously, if you're on a smaller ball, you'll be down lower. And we just want to, so this right knee is taking some weight off. If I take that off the ground, I get more weight through the hip flexor there. So we just got to work out how to hold our body so we're not, we're getting that right amount of pressure through that, through that point there. So breathe in and out nice and deep. And as we really relax there, we're not really rolling around there, we're just, we're just putting some pressure there. And that's going to help unrestrict any pressure there. You find as you slow down the breathing, your body kind of just melts into that spot. And you just move it to the side or up and down slightly now and then just try and Open it up, move it out a little bit. Find a new little spot there to relax into. I find the more you just calm yourself, the more you just breathe, that is muscles just start relaxing. And it's really hard because you get on that spot it's like, yeah, and everything wants to tense up and clench. It's then just after you find that spot, then you just start breathing through that. All right, we're going to go to the other side now. The same thing. Find a spot right there in the hip flexor. And breathe nice and deep. Putting different
different pressure on the different positions in your body. Once you feel that really relaxing into that spot, you can keep it there or you can move it to a new spot. Just move around that area, get that nice and released. knees and we're going to actually use the ball for our glute. You can use either ball, small or big, doesn't matter. And you just want to lean and we want to put that ball on the main part of our glute, right in the center, find a spot, right in the middle. And hold it there. Just move it around a bit if you're not quite sure. And when you feel that pressure build up, that's where we want to leave it. So wherever it hurts on you, that's where you need releasing, unfortunately. Just move it around a little bit there. You can move it back and forth, back and forth, but I find just that nice, pressure in the one spot. Move it slightly, put some pressure through, nice deep breathing. Really just helps relax out that area better. And if we come around to the side more than we're hitting that glute medius, which really does a lot of the work in our workouts. We need to get one, to get that guy activating and two, to get it nice and strong. So when I'm this on this at the side, I can feel pain shooting down right through the outer of my leg down to the outside of my knee. You can use this one as well. It'll just um, put a different amount of pressure, really, really pinpoint. Because um, I did the other side with this big ball, I want to be nice and even. But if you're on the little ball, you might want to um, take a little bit more weight off because it'll really um, pinpoint the pressure more through there. If you're doing the push-up challenge today and there's been no push-ups in this workout so what I suggest to you is to do 20 push-ups on the hour every hour until you get them all done just get an alarm to go off every hour. That's what I shall be doing. Oh, Don't leave them all till night time like Rob. Feels like 150 or whatever in a row. Whew. You might sleep well though if you do that. Rolling around to the outer side of the glute now. Use your body to support and then um, and then release, gradually getting more pressure through that spot. Oh. And moving up a little bit higher. Get those really tight spots. we might do is we might do a little bit of calf because everyone's calves seem to be a 
little bit tight. So getting that foam roller under the ankle and we just come up over the calf, just up and down and we'll just go back and forth in that spot there and take it to the centre, coming back up, push those hips up, back and forth there and up to the top, back and forth there and all the way back down. We're going to turn slightly to the right, back and forth here, into the centre, back and forth, and then up to the top. And all the way back down. Let's go to the other side. Roll slightly to the other side, back and forth, into centre, back and forth. And right up to the top, you should be feeling it right up, almost near the knee, it gets quite tight up there. Back and forth, and all the way back. We're going to grab our roller and put it behind our back. Hips up, and we're doing that lumbar spine there. You can go on your elbows, hands, or you can just support with your core. We're rolling back and forth just on that lower section. You're going to roll to the right and come back and forth. And keep rolling that spot there. Big breath in and out. And over to the other side. Back and forth. And come up into the middle section. Pull the hips up. back and forth through that thoracic spine. If you've got any sore spots there, take a little bit of extra time. We're going to come, we're going to come up onto the shoulders now. Support the head. Big breath in and out. And then we're going to roll back through that center of the spine. We're going to keep our hips high. It's going to put more pressure through. You're going to have to use your core to hold your body up. And all the way to sitting up. I'm just going to finish today with a tiny little, extra little roll out just in this spot, just above the shoulder. So put your hand over, head on, um, over your back, feel that spot. I think we did this spot last week. Just put that ball right up on the shoulder blade there. We're just going to pinpoint that one spot where the two muscles meet. And if you want to put a bit more weight through, you lift your hips up off the ground. We're going to take a nice deep breath in and out and in. And if you're really sore there, you might want to spend a little bit more time there. We're running out of time today. Pop that under that spot. Just, if you reach over there in the just furthest point you can reach there, as you put the ball over and then put a bit of pressure through there. You might feel that go up the neck into the head.
do the other side. Right under that little knob there, pull it in and out to the side. Pull it in and out to the side. One more, pull it in and out to the side. Whew. We're just going to pull our neck, sit in a cross position. Pull your head down, tuck your chin in, hands underneath that ankle. We're just going to pull the neck down. Nice deep breath in and out. And now we're just going to take it up nice and slowly. Relax the shoulders, hands on knees. Let the, the head, we're not pushing it back, we're just letting it rest back. Breathe in and out. Coming back to centre. Head to one side. We're not really pulling it too hard, but what I want you to do is I want you to pull the shoulder down. So pull the off shoulder down the opposite way and just let the neck stretch out. We're not pulling it, we're just gently guiding it. And back up. One more, we'll pull this shoulder down, let that shoulder drop, pull it, actually pull it down. This side's tighter on mine, so I'm gonna just pull it a little bit more. Gently guide it into stretch out. Feel it more, and as I pull that shoulder down, if my shoulder's up, I'm not really feeling it, but if I pull that shoulder down, it feels really nice all the way through here. Head back to center, big breath in. And out. We're all done for the day, guys. Remember those rollers and the balls, you can use them on nearly every muscle. You just have to um, guide your body through it and, and, and work it out. But I'm trying to take you through different muscles. If you want me to focus on a certain muscle for next week or another time, just let me know and, and we can get into those muscles. Hope you're feeling good and I will see you for Dumbbell Dominator tomorrow.